Buenos dias, everybody. Uh, so I know it's been like a hot minute since I've been on here, but uh, have a, I've actually recorded quite a few videos. I just haven't put them up, so going to be working on that soon. Um, life's been crazy, but hey, that's pretty normal at this point. <laughs> so I have a couple of things here for you guys today. First, um, what you probably clicked on this for is the Candles by Victoria new February Scents review. So I will be doing that, but I have something I want to talk to you about first. So I found out today that yet another person I know has been diagnosed with cancer. And I am so tired of hearing that. I just, I can't. I can't take it anymore. Um, it's, it's out of control and it's just... I, I'm so angry, like, n yeah, another person. Um, so I know that I've talked about, I've had a, a team here before where I asked you guys to donate to me, um, and that was for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer back in October, so thank you to all that donated, but this time is a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing fundraising from now until Jan uh, June 15th. Um, of this year uh, for Relay for Life. I have my own uh, relay team and I work for the American Cancer Society, but I've met, through that, I've met the most amazing, incredible people that I've ever known and um, seeing them and their journeys and their experiences of being caregivers or survivors themselves or just being passionate about uh, defeating this disease has brought that passion and instilled that passion into me. So um, I am determined that I'm going to be a part of helping to eliminate this disease and and improve the quality of life of people who are uh, improve the quality of life of people who are actually battling this um, and for their families and all of that. So what I'm doing is um, I have a team. It's Team Maureen. Um, the link will be down below. So the the name of this team. A little bit of brief history about this is that um, a couple of years ago, I think we're going on about three years now in March, um, my really good friend lost her mom to cancer and her name was Maureen and she was just the sweetest, most amazing, funniest, fantastic woman I have known in my life and just truly like the most loving person. Um, whenever I think of her, like if I take the time to have a moment to have a memory of her, I always remember her laugh and her smile because she was always smiling and uh, lost her lost her battle to cancer um, and it was very it was devastating um, and at the time I didn't really I mean I obviously was you know so I was sad about her loss and everything but I didn't really understand what my friend Brenda and her family went through um, and um, but I understand now, and so I want to do something to honor Maureen and her, how beautiful she was. So the name of, the, of my team is in her memory, um, Team Maureen. So please, 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 uh, donate to the team below. What I'm going to be doing, a couple different things is I will be, um, Majority of my viewers here, I love you guys so much, but majority of you are here for Candles by Victoria Reviews, and I know that. So... I'm going to be doing some st a lot of stuff that has to do with Candles by Victoria during this time as I'm doing my fundraising. My goal is to individually myself raise a thousand dollars to help fight um, cancer, which is actually, I mean, if ten of you donated a hundred dollars, or fifty of you, or twenty of you donated fifty dollars, I would raise that in like no time flat. But I know the times are tough, so anything you can give, and just. I, I would just greatly, greatly appreciate more than you could ever know. So what I will be doing is that every month from February through June, I will be giving away whatever, whatever it is that Victoria comes out with for new, whatever it is, if it's a new candle, new fragrances, whatever it is, um, I will be giving that away to people who donate during that month. So if you donate during the month of February, you will be eligible to win some of the new stuff that Victoria has come out with for the month of, um, for the month of February. I will be sending that to you, um, at the end of February. So I will all, I will do all of my announcements at the end of every month. So you have to donate every month and on, 
on my website to Team Maureen in order to be able to be eligible for this. So, well, let me jump right into the review now for um, Candles by Victoria, what they're coming out with for the month of February. So, I was supposed to go to Texas for a, van a meetup at Candles by Victoria in January, but Seattle got like blasted with this insane snow and ice storm. And so after several attempts of trying to get flights out, um, having rebooked different flights and having them all canceled, I ended up not being able to go on the trips, which was really pretty devastating for me. Um, Cause I was just like, I really, I really wanted to go. It's been like, I've just been so busy lately working really hard and was really looking forward to this time off and to be able to spend time with some of my friends, um, from the Candles by Victoria message board and from, um, just spending time with Victoria and, and her family and everybody at CBV, but I wasn't able to. So Victoria was so sweet and sent me some, some, a gift. Victoria and Matt actually sent me a gift. Um, and one of the things some of the things that they sent me were the new stuff she's coming out with for the month of February. So I thought, well, I could do this review and I could let you know about my contest I'm going to be doing running throughout, um, through June will be every month. It'll be the contest. Um, so anyway, guess I can jump right in. So I'm sure some of you have watched Brooke's uh, video. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I, um, I'm pretty sure that it is up because I've been seeing, I think I've seen people commenting about it, but it is, uh, so this month she's coming out with this new line called Love Potion Number 9, and it comes in this kind of container. You can see I have, you know, used this already. <laughs> I wanted to actually use the product before doing the review this time. So it comes in this beautiful silver gravy boat, um, has this like nice little, um, bow here with the little label with love potion number nine on it. Um, so that's very cute. And this is what it looks like in here. So the way that this has worked, the re reason why this is in a gravy boat and kind of looks like a genie lamp is um, when you melt this, it turns, the wax turns into a massage oil, which was really cool. And uh, we tried this out last night. Uh, you can use it, I guess, as like a lotion for yourself, like as a moisturizer for your for your hands and your body, or you can use it, um, you know, with with somebody as like a a love potion. Um, so <laughs> first, let me talk about how it smells. This smells; it's a very fruity kind of scent, like almost a candyish kind of fruit with some vanilla and maybe just like a hint of musk but it's very candy like which that is kind of I I like it I really really like this scent um I don't know that I necessarily think that it's sexy um but I don't know if that's the, what she's kind of going for here or if she's just kind of like just this is the first round and then maybe we'll get like a little bit more sexy kind of sense or like what the case is but anyway it's still a very nice very pleasant scent it smells really good I think it's like vanilla and I, some, someone told me like cantaloupe or something. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but it's really, really, really good. Um, that doesn't describe the scent to you. It smells like fruity, just like a, it's a fruity mixture. So when you smell it, you would definitely say like, oh yeah, that's a fruit candy. And it's um, like almost tangy, I guess you could say. Like it's a definitely like a tangy, fruity, vanilla-y candy. I don't know if that is going to help you guys at all, but so uh, when you burn it, I probably should have trim my wicks before I did this video. Um, you can, so you can, I can feel the wax. It's a little, it's definitely softer wax than normal uh, candle wax. And so you can just use it and massage it into your skin, even with um, not having burnt, like just having this re uh, heart, like when it hardens back up. But yeah, hardens up again. Uh, you could still use it as a moisturizer, and it's so it's kind of like I can't. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of oily. Yeah, you can see it's oily. So it's but it, it's moisturizing for your skin. For your skin. Um, so it didn't take very long for a melt pool to start. I think maybe I had total maybe an hour, and we had a good melt pool going. As you can see, I didn't. It didn't go all the way across. Um, Jared got impatient. <laughs> <laughs> but um so it, but it pours out so easy so we actually did use it as massage oil so um he massaged me and then I massaged for him so I could see 
like what it felt like to have it on and then as well as to be as to use it for your hands. So um, you, it pours out very, very easily. And when he was in charge, that's, this is what happened. It, it dribbled all over. So as long as you don't have a crazy person just like sticking their hand in, uh, you should be okay. Um, and be able to keep it nice and clean. So like I said, it poured out really easy. When it hits your skin, um, it was pretty warm. But I think it's more of like the oh, that's scary, like there's something that's hot is going to be poured on me. And it instantly just adjusted to your skin. So it cooled down. It didn't feel like I don't have any burn marks. It wasn't like painful. It was a little bit like, <gasps> like that. that's basically how it went. So, um, and then massaging wise, like it feels awesome So <laughs> when you're getting a massage. But um, when, when you're the one that's doing it, it's, it gets everywhere. It moves like very easily. It just is really good on the skin. Um, it does absorb a little bit, but not as much as I would thought it ha would it have. Um, but I guess, I don't know. I mean, it could be that it did because we had to keep using a little bit more. Um, it depends on how much you want to use, of course. Um, so I was using it and um, it smells great. Like my bedroom smells awesome. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, as it cooled down, it the wax started to get a little bit harder. So that's the kind of that's the thing I was a little bit like weird. Like, how's it gonna get hard on my skin? It started to turn into a very thick, like like a thick lotion. So it wasn't didn't get hard on your skin. Like if you were to pour wax on and let it sit there, and then you could peel it off. It wasn't like that. It was definitely something you. I mean, you would you're still working it, um, but it did get like white. It went from clear to white on my hands and on on his back. Um, so it became like a really thick lotion. So um, after, like, we, it worked great. I thought it was awesome. It's such a unique and cool idea. Because um, at first when I heard it, I was like, oh, well, I guess, okay. But actually using it, much different. Like, it is, it is really cool. Um, so, yeah. So I would definitely recommend it. And as far as cleanup went, uh, like, you can just, like, wipe it off. And then I just took a shower afterwards because I felt like that would be the best way. And that's uh, pretty much my, yeah, I mean, it, it was fine. So, yeah, I recommend the new Love Potion number 9. And I don't know what this, if it's, if she's going to come out with any different scents or not, or if this is just it. But it is very awesome. So this is what she said. Uh, Love, Mo Love Potion number nine was created for by me, especially for this line. It is a blend of fruity sophistication, so it's very fruity, with a warm vanilla musk note. This fragrance, fragrance will stay on your skin all day. We have tested it. And I agree with that. I could still smell it like a little bit got on our, my pillows just because messiness. Um, and I could still smell it. And it's like it smells very nice. Um, light up your night with our Love Potion number no. 9 Massage Lotion Candles. These are made with 100% all-natural soy, apricot oil, jojo, jojoba oil, shea butter, and enriched with vitamin E. Rich and decadent and so good for your skin. To use your massage oil candle. Uh, to use your massage, oil, massage lotion candle, light the, light the candle and wait for the wax to pull, which, like I said, didn't take very long. Then either pour the melted wax into your hand or straight onto the skin. If that's too warm for you or your partner, blow out the candle and let it sit for a minute or two. We blew it out before we did any pouring because I was a little nervous about it, like like being like the uh, flame going out anyway. So we just blew it out. Um, and let it sit for a minute or two, then pour the warm wax into your hand and use from there. You can use this as much or as little of a candle as you want. Any pulled wax you don't use will reharden so you can melt it again for next time, which is true. That's exactly what has happened here is that the uh, wax bowl has rehardened. So this is a, an awesome, unique, I've never heard of anything like it. And like I said, when I first started, I was like, oh, that's okay. But like using it, it was so cool. And I would totally use it again um, and loved it. So I actually think that uh, I would still use it as like a moisturizer, like for my hands um, and for like my elbows and stuff, just like rubbing the wax. But it smells amazing. Um, on to the new scents and a couple other things. First of all, she sent me, because I wasn't able to be there, she sent me a, a gift that is unique, and actually I probably need to trim this wick at this point. Um, but she sent me, I can't see, her I, uh, I Heart Candles by Victoria mug, and she sent me um, this in 
one of the new scents for this month called Sweet Noel. Everybody that was at the um, at the meetup actually got to get a whole get an eight ounce candle in Sweet Noel. So that's the, I think that's what it's called. Um, so she sent me a scent shot of it, but it's not here. I don't know what I do with it. Okay, is it Pink Noel or Sweet Noel? But I'm pretty sure it's Sweet Noel. Maybe it's Pink. Uh, okay, I lied. It is Pink Noel, not Sweet Noel. Anyway, um, so she sent this to me, and not this candle or this cup. A uh, mug candle is not available on the website. This is something that is exclusive to, she has a couple. She gave one away for her secret sin on the message board, and I have one. So thank you, Victoria. I'm so honored to be able to receive this. I am just so excited, and I'm burning the candle because I want to get through it so I can use the mug because I'm a crazy mug person, and I love them. Um, but anyway, so let me talk about, this is a new fragrance that will be coming out this month, Pink Noel. So, Okay. This is a mix, mixture of Pink Cupcake and Vanilla Bean Noel, and it smells divine. To me, it smells just like, because Vanilla Bean Noel is already like a cakey kind of scent to me anyway, like a vanilla cake, um, and that's exactly what Pink Cupcake smells like to me. It smells like Funfetti Cake, so this mixture is just basically like an awesome, delicious vanilla cake with vanilla frosting. It smells really good. It does, I will say, have a hint of cherry almond to me, but not in the way of like cake bake or uh, cake batter or anything like that, which to me, those were just straight up cherry almond and not um, as good as this. So really, really like it. Uh, the next one is, I'm so excited about this one, banana caramel cake. OMG, this smells so, so freaking good. This is her sweet banana scent with a buttery caramel and just like a hint of cake. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this smells different than, um, have I had, I've had caramelized bananas, but it smells different than that. This is heavier on the banana and the, the caramel is much more like a buttery caramel. Like, but so sometimes the buttery caramel scent smells like straight up butter. Uh, but this actually smells like actual caramel in this one. So very delicious. Banana caramel cake, so good. Uh, the next one she sent to me was uh, a new scent for this month is Blushing Peaches, which I adore this scent. I really, really like it. Um, so it's different than... It's different than Georgia Peach, if you've had that. That's more of a candy, like a, an actual candy peach. Um, but it's similar to ginger peach. And ginger peach, some people have said it smells like peach tea, but to me it smells like an actual fresh, just bit into a peach. That's more what this smells like, but there's something different with it. Um, as weird as it sounds, like I didn't get any dis descriptions or anything, but to me this, I would say it's like a peach... For some reason, I want to say grenadine. Like, I smell it, and I want to say peaches and grenadine. <laughs> I don't know if that is makes any sense or not, but it smells like an actual fresh peach with, like, a sweet, a sweet, but not, like, not like sugar sugary, not like super sugary sweet, but um, some sort of sweet drizzle on it. That's what it smells like to me. It's really nice. I very much enjoy this one. She also sent me two scents that came out last month um, that in January that I was going to buy when I was there, um, but wasn't obviously wasn't able to. So I was so excited about these. These were two that came out in January. Uh, the first one is Dolce de Leche. Whoa. And this one smells like caramel, but like there's a little something else that's in it. And there's something else... It kind of reminds me of like French crumb cake, which I wasn't like super thrilled with, but um, I like this a little bit better. The caramel is a little bit darker in this, I would say, than like a banana caramel cake. This is more like a light caramel. This is more of a darker caramel, if that makes any sense to you. The last one is Frosted Lime Cupcakes, which I was really excited to try because I love lime scents. This is great because it is, it has... When you first smell it, it's a smell of sweet cake. 
And then afterwards, the, the bottom note, as you're like breathing in, it kind of hits the back of your throat, is the sour lime. And it is a sour lime. So it's really nice. So you get a mixture of both. Very, they're sweet and sour in this. Really good. Of all the limes since I've tried, this is probably my, I would, I'm going to venture to say it's my favorite because it has like some, that nice sour. So anyway, that is my Candles by Victoria February Sense Review. Um, remember that if you donate to my Relay for Life page, the link is down below, you will be entered to win um, this. I will send you a love potion number nine, as well as scent shots and the three new scents that have come out this month, uh, Pink Noel, Blushing Peaches, and uh, Banana Caramel Cake. So please, please, please go down below and donate to my relay page and help me and the fight against cancer. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always here to answer your comments and I, I love when you guys um, participate with me. It just makes my day. I get the emails on my phone and it makes me really excited. So anyway, thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Oh, P.S. Victoria, I can't even believe I didn't even say this. Thank you so much for sending this stuff to me. You and Matt are just so wonderful. And Matt sent me this beautiful, um, blanket that all the girls got. You could go to the Candles by Victoria uh, YouTube page and you can see the video where they're all like wrapped in this blanket. Super cute and just like made me feel excited because I was actually able to be, you know, a part of it. Um, and then, but sending this was a, a wonderful surprise. I had no idea that you were going to be sending me this stuff. It's just, you, it was, un, it was just, it was perfect. And I was having a rough week last week, so it was like the perfect end of the week. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.